Hey guys, what's going on? My name is always Jason. And we're gonna talk today about how to counter elite barbarians. These little beasts of a card uh, are in pretty much every deck right now. They're kind of like my favorite go-to card now. Uh, they're very strong. They're very powerful, and they're hard to stop sometimes. If you don't know how, they're definitely hard. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're a common card, they're just uh, introduced into Clash Royale a few weeks ago, maybe in a little bit more months ago, I don't know. Um, and they're all the rage now, everybody has them, so it's really important to know how to stop them. So uh, one of the best ways to stop them is to use Elite Barbarians, right? <laughs> if you don't want to do that, then I have a, a few other decks that you can use. Uh, a few other main cards or strategies and we'll talk about them today. So I'm going to show you some replays and show you some decks on how to do this. Um, first of all, I'll show you this one and we'll just kind of go through it, talk, uh, talk about the replays, talk about strategies. Okay, so strategy number one I would say is to distract. Uh, what you're going to have to do is distract the elite barbarians. Right now I'm pushing with a hog and uh, distracting with the, the ice golem. Zapping those minion horde when uh, my ice golem blows up and gets that damage down. Uh, one of the cards that I use a lot for distracting is the ice golem like you see right here. Uh, I have this replay on quickly so... And I also misplaced my archers on that one. If you, if you notice, my uh, archers were closer to the tower, so it sucked in that one Elite Barbarian. Otherwise, um, the barb wouldn't have come down to the tower, and if you place it more to the left, it would pull them towards the middle. Um, so that's what I would do normally, is uh, pull them towards the middle and distract. Uh, I use the Ice Golem for that a lot. I also use the Graveyard very cheap cards to counter with and it will give you a positive elixir trade. Uh, so right now I'm pushing on the right there, slowing down with an ice golem, and I still have the same issue where one uh, elite barb comes down to the tower. Um, maybe I should slow it down here, it's on four. Um, distracting, he's gonna push with elite barbs, you bring it over to the middle and then slow him down with an ice golem or ice wizard or ice spirit. You know, something to slow them down, because really what you want to do is chip damage. Chip damage with your tower, and that will slow them down. Uh, that usually kills them. So, I get wrecked on that one, and then we'll talk about this match here. That other one where I lose is really weird. It's a weird deck I never saw. It they did, they, you know, you're going to lose in this game. So I say wow, because he's a level 10 versus a level 9. And this low, like, you know, it, if you have a tower advantage like that, I don't expect to win. And then I misplaced my, uh, my tombstone here. Oh, so it's not a very good start for me, and I just, like, laugh because I'm laughing at myself. If you can't laugh at yourself, then it's, you know, you're not going to have fun at this game. So, here again, I'm distracting with the Ice Spirit and the Ice Golem. It pulls them over to the middle, and so both towers can shoot at them. If you pull them over to the middle to the right enough, the right tower can hit it, and the left one as well. Um, and then, if you set it up just right, you're going to have troops left over to counter push, so that you kill their their uh, their troops, their elite barbs, and uh, you have a positive elixir trade to where you can battle back and forth. Um, I also carry the tombstone because of uh, the hogs. It's going to suck the hog in, just like it does the elite barbs. And then it gives you a counter push. Um, the tombstone is also really good versus Sparky, versus the giant skeleton, uh, versus the large P.E.K.K.A., versus any kind of giant. Um, it's going to distract and uh, give it a good counter push. So right now uh, he hasn't gotten any damage on my tower. I haven't gotten any damage on his tower. And for a level 10 versus level 9, that's not bad for me. So he seems to be pushing with the lumberjack. Um, and the elite barbs at once, you know, they really have a high attack speed, so um, it's kind of impressive that the tombstone uh, can take both of these guys out if you place it right, you place it in the middle, it pulls them over, and these are going to be kind of the main strategies that I'm going to show you. Um, I also do have another way where you can use the hog as a defense, 
uh, versus it in case you don't have a tombstone, an ice golem, an ice spirit, or anything else in your hand. Right here, I have to split the elite barbs in the back just to uh, mix it up a little bit, and so they have to defend both lanes. I'm gonna zap the skeleton army. Skeleton army is also a pretty good card. Um, it will distract the, the elite barbs pretty well, except for like if you have a log, or if the other guys have a log, or uh, the fire spirits, uh, or a zap. Like a zap, just boom, it kills it. Like I try to do here or throughout this match right here. Uh, the other guy tries to defend with the skeleton army, but it, it doesn't work as well. Like, usually it'll work like one time, and then they'll figure out what you're doing, and then just, you know, mess you up. So, uh, okay, so I try to take advantage of his furnace on the right, because he over, he put it too far on the right, and now he put this one too far on the left, and so my hog is just going to take them both out. Right now it's sudden death versus this guy. I don't quite remember if this is one where I come back and no, it doesn't look like. But okay, so this whole game I've been able to pull his his uh, cards, the lumberjack and the barbs, to the middle, and this this kills it all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like so easy. They're very powerful once they like sneak by and get on your tower, like right here. If they sneak by and get in your tower, then it, then it's done. Um, which, you know, you have to be pretty quick with dropping the cards uh, to distract and to pull them over the center. Otherwise, one's just going to go towards the pole. One's going to get pulled to, to your uh, tower defense, and the other is going to go straight to the tower. And if you can get a rage spell down quickly enough, it'll just boom right past you. And uh, I pulled off the upset versus the level 10, <clears throat> and that's why I gave him the thumbs up there. I try not to mock, because I, like to me that's like a kid thing, you don't really like make fun of anybody. Um, so I, I'm also very like uh, friendly, or I like to laugh a lot, I guess. So I hope that's not out there to be negative or anything like that. Uh, let's watch, this one's a draw, um, well he uses a different, little bit different cards here with the Valkyrie. If you're in the lower levels you can use the Valkyrie. Uh, like he does here to defend against the elite barbarians. Um, I believe he's gonna... Yeah, he puts the barbs in the back. I wouldn't use this strategy if you're using the elite barbarians as a, your attack card. It just kind of takes away the surprise and it's not as good um, as a strategy. Um, and the other thing I wouldn't do is this. I wouldn't put a skeleton army on top of another card like the wizard uh, with the wizard being such low health. You zap it and they all die, so you lose like five elixir there, because of well, three and then your wizard. So, um, unless you have a bait deck like this guy sorta does with his minion horde, uh, it's not really a bait deck, but like, usually if you use zap towards one card, then you'll use it for another, so, uh, if you don't have two like that, uh, and then, this didn't really work out for me right here, and so I said, well played. Um, I, it didn't defend us right, so the other thing like I thought you guys is if you do the Ice Golem in front with the Hog to push it in the back, um, that will pop the Skeleton Army and the Minions if, if they use that, and then you can get the Zap ready to go on top of there. Okay, and then let's see. And we tie it up here, and then I gotta figure out how to attack his base there. Um, if you can drop an ice golem, let's just slow it down a little bit. If you can drop an ice golem in the center, if you have the right tower down, and then barb it on the left hand side, that would be good. Um, but yeah, guys, my main defense is uh, a pretty good just, just countering. Um, he's gonna drop skeleton army here, which I should have a zap ready, but it didn't have it cycled back to it, so he had a pretty good defense there. And I think this one is the, uh, yeah, where we just keep going back and forth and then no one gets, uh, uh, let's see, nobody gets another tower after this. So, if you can use the ice spirit, um, ice spirit, the ice golem, ice wizard, anything to slow him down and pull them towards the middle, then that would be what I would recommend. Um, you know, so we're just gonna end it, and there, it's a good game, good draw. And sometimes a draw is better than a loss, well, like, it, it always is, unless you're, like, in the lead, 
then Andras is like, oh, so disappointing. But if you're, if you're coming back and you're coming from behind and you like can fight for that draw, or you're playing for a, a different level tower than you, like you're playing uh, up to a level ten or versus a level ten, then it's like it's great, huh? Um, so if you don't have these cards, like the Ice Golem or the uh, Ice. Yeah, the Ice Bomb or the Ice Spirit, since you get that in Arena 8. Uh, I'm going to show you some cards that you can use in the lower arenas uh, to fight off the Elite Barbarians. So, these ones in here, like from this arena, what I would use would be the Knight. Because um, what you want to do is you want to have a distraction card up front, a cheap distraction card. If you can get a tank, if you can get something to support in front and then something behind, that will pull it towards the center. So I would use a knight and archers, or a knight and uh, the bomber, or let's see, the giant here, uh, and the uh, musketeer. That would work. Um, anything flying is not really, it's not gonna pull it, because it's not, it's, you might be able to defend with it, but uh, you also need something to pull it towards the center. So uh, usually that's why you use two, Two, uh, two troops on the ground and that would pull it better. Skeleton army, like I said before, that would be good. Uh, let's go here. Valkyrie would be good because it's a tank and it also has splash damage, so it's very underrated versus that. You could do Valkyrie in the front and then uh, the Dark Goblins or Spear Goblins in the back to pick it off. Um, the other go Goblins here would not do much. They would get one swing and they would down. So I mean they might be good for a distraction like uh, like these ice skeletons. These are the it's a one one elixir. That's a really good trade there. So if you could use that uh, as well as a tombstone, so that would pull it. If you can get them to, to drop it on one side and then pull it towards the, the middle or something like that, like I'll show you here. Uh, if you don't have the ice spirit or the ice calm, what I would use would be the knight and the skeleton. Um, it's the same elixir cost, because uh, pretty much, anyways, and um, they're both both pretty tanky troops, the knight and the ice golem. Um, you could also use barbarians. Uh, barbarians are a level or five elixir at trade off to six, which um, it's not the greatest, but you could, you know, it's, it's a positive trade as long as you survive. Um, and from here, like, these are a lot of offensive cards, you're not really going to use these, unless the Tesla or the, the Inferno Tower, but, you know, nobody, in the higher arenas, it's not used as much. In the lower ones, you could, you get away with it, but it's not as positive as, uh, Electro Trade as these other cards that I'm showing you. Um, if you have the Fire Spirits, those don't work as well as the uh, on the Elite Barbs as they do as the Barbs because of the, the splash damage. I mean, if you get them high enough leveled up, then they will, but like otherwise, they're like, eh. Uh, and any tower, like the, the Furnace here, that would work. Um, and if you're lucky enough to get the Legendary Ice Wizard, these would work as well. Uh, Builder's Workshop, you could use a Tornado to pull it, um, to pull it back, and then drop a, a defensive unit, like a tower, to pull it towards the middle, or you could use the Tornado in the middle to suction shoot, the Barbarians back towards the middle, so then maybe they'll split, or maybe they'll attack something else. Um, the, the big Golem here, that would work, it's kind of expensive, Usually if you use a golem, it's not on defense like that, because uh, it's so expensive and it's hard to get up to 8. Um, from here, if also the log, if push them back, that'd be good. Okay, so let's just show you some of this in action. I used this deck. Um, normally what I use is the Ice Spirits and the uh, Ice Golem instead. Uh, of the Skeleton and the Knight, but I'm using these two cards because it... Uh, these are available in lower arena, so you can use these two to distract, as well as the tombstone. So let's see here. I have these two, and we'll just talk about it a little bit more here. Put it on double, and we'll just go for it. So let's see. It's a nine versus a nine. Uh, no idea how to pronounce the name. And then I use the hog on defense here to uh, kite it away. 
Um, since that doesn't actually kill the barbarians, I also have to put a distracting truth like the uh, ice golem there. Slows them down, gets the chip damage from the tower. I should have delayed uh, the ice spirit until the wizard was actually attacked or attaching, <laughs> attacking my tower. And then that would have saved me a little bit of damage on my tower. But either way, I'm ahead in elixir, so I'm okay. Uh, not too much damage is done on my tower. So he drops a giant skeleton, which the best thing in my deck it, to slow him down is this, uh, the tombstone. It's going to slow him down. It's going to make him stop and take a hit, stop and take a hit. So, And then he's got the bomber in the back, which is a good technique um, for splash damage. But uh, what I had to do is I had to push the opposite side since he committed so much elixir to the right side. I just pushed on the left and I was able to get some, some good damage there. Uh, since I used the tombstone already um, on the... The giant skeleton, I couldn't use it on the hog, so I'm using the archers here, and I should have placed them a little bit different so the minions wouldn't kill him so quickly. Um, so yeah, I think he's gonna use the elite barbs here. Uh, I got a pretty good countering hand for that in case it does. Now it's just gonna do the wizard in the back, okay. So, um, if he does the wizard in the back, he's just like waiting for my response. Um, and he doesn't take it seriously, uh, which is dropping the giant skeleton. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna take his tower down to within zap range. Excuse me, within zap range. Uh, drop the mega minion on top of the wizard, that will kill the wizard. Um, and give me like a little bit of life left. And then give me some chance to get to the tower with my hog. And right now, I just have to play defense, because I know that my zap does like 75 damage I think it is <laughs> I know right yeah 75 damage so I could zap this and kill it so since I know that I'm going to just push hard on the right side and then save a zap or eventually scroll, circle back to it with 20 seconds left so it's pushing with the skeleton I'm gonna suck them all to the middle again uh, that way you get both towers shooting at them both towers damaging them Use the ice spirit to kill or slow down the hog so it doesn't kill my tower so I can play defense. Use the hog to push on that side to distract any of his units that he drops down and it's a good game. And that's it. So, uh, that one wasn't too elite bar heavy there but you kind of get the point where we're just going to hold him towards the middle so both towers can shoot at him. Slow him down, distract him. And uh, I'll show you a pretty good distraction, pretty good defensive video here. So I'm versus a level 8, but this is a, a challenge match, so like it's not on the ladder. So they, they rank them differently. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to defend. Uh, this guy does not get a touch on my tower. So yeah, there's that. Let's see, so I got a zap his minion horde, and I use the lead barbs on his hog because I already placed the tombstone too far to the right for his hog. Um, and it's gonna do quite a bit of damage on both towers there because my archer split off in the back and it did one there and the one on the left and one on the right. And then I'm gonna drop the mega minion on top of his wizard before it locks onto my tower. And the tower and the mega minion are gonna kill that wizard. And he's going to zap, did he zap the, the Mega Minion there? Yeah. So, I didn't even notice, but like I was pushing on the right because uh, <laughs> I, I pushed with the, the Knight and the, uh, the Hog. And he drops his Elite Barbs, I <laughs> drop my Tombstone down. And uh, say he zaps the Tombstone, what that'll do um, is like, as long as you place the archers there, the elite barbs will still be pulled towards the archers, which will pull them even more towards the middle. So it's good. Uh, I also used the dropped the one uh, skeleton, uh, one skeleton skeletons there, and uh, he's gonna try something with his inferno dragon, but nobody knows how to really use the inferno dragon. <laughs> not that witty, but it's just not a very popular card, anyways. Um, he's gonna do the minion horde all the way down, but my tower is gonna get every little bit of hits off of him. Um, it doesn't get one hit off me, and I'm sitting pretty here with 185 on his right tower and 405 left on, or just 406 on his, sorry. Man, so usually what I do, and, <laughs> and these skeletons will also work as an attack. They, they attack cards, obviously, right? 
Um, so they would be good versus the Royal Giant too. Um, you put them there, and it makes them spend uh, spend the elixir on killing those things. Um, they're just very versatile. Very, they have a lot of good uses. Um, but let's see. He doesn't really use the elite barbs that much in this deck, but whenever he does, and I'm gonna do the hog ooh, kite thing here. <laughs> I usually don't like to use that uh, unless I have to. At least I like absolutely have to. But like that time, just slow him down. I hope you've uh, watched this video to enough to know that all you gotta do is slow down the elite barbs, pull them towards the middle, use anything to distract them. Um, and he also, like, good game. This, I feel sorry for this guy, man. Like, he did not get a hit off on my tower. I'm still at 25-34. 25-34 on both towers. <sighs> sorry, dude. Okay, so let's open some of these. Um, so you, you'll pull him towards the center. Uh, slow him down. Slow him down with an ice golem, a zap. Uh, something that's actually going to make sense to pull him towards the middle. Get both towers shooting at him. Uh, ice golem. Yeah, that's nice. um, and then just sort of see what uh, you know what defense you can do with them. And uh, let's see. Also, open. I've been saving this uh, clan chest for this video. I opened this clan chest. Oh. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Sixteen hundred, because my my clan actually got. You know, to level 10. Okay, 13. Okay. I don't use a cannon very much on this account. Ooh, Dark Goblins. All right. I'll take them. Need to rank them up on this account. Barbarians. Okay, Goblins. Give me something I can use. One more, three muskies. Okay. Poison spell. Great. <laughs> I waited this whole time for this. It's not horrible. I just don't use these cards. Okay. Well, um, and also, man, uh, I think I'll wait. I have all these legendary, this legendary chest and this special trophy, this is magical chest, uh, but yeah. So, uh, that's how you counter elite barbs. You distract, uh, pull them towards the center, use cheap cards, and then you can use them to counter. Uh, if you don't have the ice golem or the ice spirit, you can use the fire spirit. It's okay. Uh, it's not my favorite. You can use the skeletons or the knight. Uh, definitely the tombstone if you have that. If not, uh, you can use the, the cannon. That would work. Um, the guards, that'll slow them down enough. The Valkyrie, those cards. So any of those cards would work. Anything that you can use to slow them down. The other thing is, is that they're really expensive. And we're just gonna do a match. That was an accident. Okay, we're gonna do a match here. I'll show you. I don't know if this guy is gonna have, uh, elite barbs in his deck. So I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but we're going to play Tombstone, and then we're going to play that, and then we're going to play that. Um, he's trying to distract. We'll put those down. Okay, man. And shoot. I'm going to go on the right side, see if I can throw him off. And make him defend two lanes. Okay, yeah, that worked out well for us. Okay, zap. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what he's got. We're pretty close to even. I should drop this. Oh man, I can drop it in time. Okay. Uh, need to think here. He's probably gonna throw the miner down. If he does, yep. Okay, predict a miner, and then he'll have to hit those. Man, okay. He's got me down. Good job. Um, okay, I kind of need to pay attention a little bit more, huh? So, he's gonna do the hog. Why is he doing that? Like, hog's not gonna get very far. Where is he? Is he going for a three star? Where is he throwing that? Okay. It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to push with my elite barbs here, guys. How do you think I should do it? I'm gonna do this. Hopefully, he doesn't pull from that side, and I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get ready with my zap. That's what he, okay, and bruh, gonna kill most except for one, and I'm gonna get a little, little chip damage on that tower, okay. Um, I can still come back, I gotta play really good defense though, so let's see here. 
is all he got. Let's see. Let's do that, and then we'll do that. I need to. Oh, he's got to leap barbs. All right. Okay, he's gonna have a strong push to counter here. I'm gonna go f <laughs> super on the right, and I'm gonna zap that. He's probably gonna throw a skeleton army down. I'm gonna wait. So there goes his tower. All right. So yeah, you can do a really strong push with this deck. Um, you have to play smart, and you have to let's see defend well. We'll do that. Man, that didn't pull. Did my knight block that? Okay, so let's get another knight down. And then we're gonna hog push this thing. Oh, I really wish I had a zap. Or not a zap, but a fireball. Put a fireball that. Okay, he's gonna fireball that. Yep. Come on. Man, I should have. Should have done something different here. Let's get that in the back. We'll get that. And then I don't wanna zap it. Let's do this. We'll do this for that. Okay. Look how much I have going towards you, man. I'm gonna put see, get that and I'll get that. Come on, come on. Let's get some chip damage on this tower. Archers, let's go, let's go. Okay, tombstone. That in the back. Put the negative on this thing. That, that, that. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see if I can get his tower down. Uh, I'm gonna wait till. There we go. Let's see. Yes! Okay. Woo! Good game. Okay, yeah. That's awesome. I love it when, the, when a plan comes together, right? If you're an 18 fan. Okay, so, yeah, I was just going to say I'm not going to open the Legendary Chest. That was a fun match. You get to see Distracting Elite Barbs live. This is going to be a long video for you guys. I hope you're still watching. Uh, if you're not, whatever. Oh, well. I guess you won't be seeing this, but uh, adios and have a good night. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment on it. Tell me what you like to use the best. Tell me if you like Elite Barbs. Uh, tell me if you like my hair, I don't care. Give me a comment, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, have a good one.